This is a very important medication in heart failure. Very, very important medication in heart failure. Um, I, I, almost anybody on heart failure is on this medication. That is very dangerous. He, he has very, very uh, narrow therapeutic range, so 0.5 to 2, okay? And you have to check levels frequently to make sure you don't over, go over it. He has three functions. He has the heart pump, so he's ionotrope. Okay, he slowed the rate down. So that's uh, um, chromotrope. Then they improve the speed, the time they allow the heart to relax, so bromo. So these are very important. The main side effect is they call heart block because of what they do. I don't I, I don't need to explain to you how they they act naturally because they bind to a sodium potassium ATPH channel, but that is too complicated. In any case, this is how they do their thing. They can be very tricky medication, they are very, very effective, and they you see it all more often on the floor. And so your examiners love this medication, okay? You can't take this test without a question on the dioxin. Therefore, we're going to do the side effect based on the way they act. So because they, they cause heart block, okay? They cause heart block, they slow down the heart. Anybody on it need to take their pause, apical pause, like full minute. One minute, full minute, no, 59 seconds, no. There is a range in it if you if you are adult 60, the heart rate of 60, you gotta stop less than that. If you are a child 70, you gotta hold it. And if you are a neonate 90, so hold it. So 60 for adults, child 70, less than 70, um, and neonate less than 90, you gotta hold it. So that's the number one side effect. The way I remember the dioxin is I start from the head and come. So they start with neuro. Your head is a neuro. So they get confusion, calm down. Confusion and lethargic if they get toxicity. From your head, you see your eyes. So eye problem. And this is very common. They have like yellow, green, and arrows, vision and arrow. Okay. Or you can call it scotoma, scotomas. If they see this yellow, green, vision or arrows and scotomas, they should call you the doctor, not the ophthalmology. No ophthalmology. Ophthalmology can cannot do anything. Call ACP. This is no fun. It's a sign of toxicity. Okay. From your eyes, you come to your mouth. Okay. Head, mouth. You, you put your head in your a hand on your head and slide it down. Your nose is not involved, your mouth, or GI. This is the number one side effect, GI, number one, early sign. Anybody on G the joxin and he has any GI symptoms, you gotta call the doctor. It's not just, so any nausea, vomit, diarrhea, abdominal pain, that is signs of toxicity. We got to do something about it. We got to be sharp. So the doctor need to be know about it. Don't take Zofrin. Don't think this is normal. Oh, I'm taking medication. Therefore, that. You shouldn't do that. And the, the, the key thing I want you to remember is any medication that we take by mouth, the early signs of toxicity is always GI, like lithium. Your body is very, very good in telling you that something is not right through the GI tract. And so the GI tract is very sensitive and very, very smart. It can tell you whenever you start vomiting and you take any medication, it's telling you that something is wrong. So this is the number one. So as soon as you start doing that, you got to call your doctor. Early signs. So in your test, they're not going to give you um, something bad, they would just say the patient is having nausea, vomiting. They want to know if you know the critical signs um, problem. So now we talked about GI, you go to your kidney, it's your renal, you see? You're just going from head to toe. That's how I remember the joxin. Um, the joxin is cleared by the uh, kidney. 
Therefore, if um, your kidney function is affected, you get toxicity. So uh, renal function. We want to make sure renal function is normal. And these are the key side effects of, um, and then, yeah, so the first one, cardiotoxicity, we already talked about the C before there, yeah. Um, so neuro, eyes, mouth, cardiac, and renal. So the heart block is the cardiac toxicity. So these are the key signs of uh, digoxin with early signs of GI uh, function, okay? There's teaching, you got to tell them, so teaching. These are very important teaching that, so this teaching for the patient is like, they should avoid calcium channel broker. It's difficult to explain, I, it will take a long time to explain that calcium channel broker, high level of calcium causes digoxin toxicity. Just know that high level of calcium causes digoxin toxicity. And then because of the binding of the digoxin, digoxin binds specific area of the potassium ATPase pump. So low potassium, high, so watch these numbers, low potassium, high calcium, low magnesium is bad. That means if your potassium is low, your calcium is high, your magnesium is low, and you're taking the joxin, it will lead to toxicity. So you should avoid that. That doesn't mean you should increase, make your potassium uh, hyperkalemia. Just make them normal. So when you're on the joxin, make sure your potassium is normal, calcium is normal, magnesium is normal. You see, that's why you should avoid calcium channel block. Otherwise, that will increase your um, calcium. So don't don't let them trick you when they, they say, oh, I will increase my potassium. That means you taking more potassium. No, we're just keeping it to the normal range. We don't want it to go down. That is like, don't let it go down. Don't let calcium go high. Don't let magnesium go low. But just keep it at the normal level. Then they should... Avoid they should avoid lycoric acid. This causes hypokalemia, like I told you, hypokalemia. So anything that will cause hypo hypokalemia is bad. We don't want hypokalemia. And then tell them not to go and take anything over the counter if they have cold ephedrine. This has uh, no epinephrine, epinephrine. So uh, vascular constrictors that will increase your blood pressure and causes arrhythmia. And digoxin already causes arrhythmia, so you don't want that. So avoid ephedrine, avoid lycoric acid, avoid low potassium, high calcium, low magnesium, avoid calcium channel blocker. So those are the key things you teach them to avoid. There's something they, they can ask you on a, um, a kid. So kids, of course, they cannot take a big digoxin pill. So they take their pill. So this is for kids. They take oral um, solution. So the mommy, you have to give it to them. Your mommy or father, you put it at the, in the side of the cheek, so side cheek or back of the throat. It tastes bad. So that's the way to get inside. Because it tastes bad, you'll be tempted to add it to the food because patient doesn't want it. No, no food. Don't mix it. Don't mix it with anything. The kid need, just need to take it with that. No mixing with food. Just clean, okay? Like we said in the earlier on, GI toxicity is bad. So when the kid vomit, the you got to call the doctor, okay? If if you give the pills to them and they vomit, you allow two times. After If they do that two times, call ACP. You need to call because they've mixed two, they can mix two medication, but after two, you have to call. So when your kid is refusing to drink, 
refuse you to take the medication, it may be that early signs of toxicity. And if they mix too, you got to call. The, the, the medication can also stain their teeth. So, so you need to brush their teeth uh, after, um, after you're giving it to them. And this is most of the teaching you need to know and to answer any questions on the Jackson. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a great day. Keep charging as always. Thank you very much.